right space. Um, and the only way I could see them doing that was thinking, like, what do I think poetry has in common with revolution? And the only thing I could come up with was present tense. So I'm going to read mostly poems that I wrote on the typewriter. Um, <laughs> a man should die in peace. Someone from ancient Greece? Wait, Plato. Metronomes, minotaurs, telephones, dinosaurs, metaphors. Make poverty possible. It's always hard to want someone with compassion for process and love. The short answer is long, with no end. So much zombies, so much incest, it was tiring. Did not show on the television myth book. The Greeks knew it too, a void in the repression too. Brulee's care about any of it there, on the bed, on the chair, on the horse. I explain, I explode. Mice from balloons, rabbits from cannons. A pelican in a bikini cannot take you down, repentant umbrella. Your reign is permanent. When the world is full, how can we live with each other? having to be in each other, spaces every day, compartmentalized and afraid. The lines of difference, it is the lines of difference that are strongly and carefully worded. What I am, am I, to you. It turned out I got it dirty or it got dirty. Its hands were dirty, variously wreckage. A needle turns into expanse because it flips about of its own accord. The trembling mannequins, certainly they're happy to turn on the feeding tongue, the dripping tongue of opinion, wants to know who they are in the reasoning, in the dreaming, in the let's face it, dreaming. A celebutant with open lips and cheeks to munch their fishy lips and cheeks to see it performed at last for an assembled audience. Taliban poetry. It wasn't more or less political. It was less political just to test and make dirty the word who wants political when it could have had passion, when it couldn't care whether what it said had should invading the insect form. I just longed away about missing you, to whom would listen soda, to whom would frothing milkshake. A stream of bubbles that are we, cascading up into the air, real rubbish, like a salad of whether or not the guests at the dinner table made sense or not, sense or not, sense or not. When antinomian robots scale the velvet wall. I just want you to know, antinomian robots scaled the velvet wall this afternoon around four. They wielded diaphanous weapons. They went down and out in fiery green coats and in laser colored orders. They traversed the land from the cafe to the charity shop, opened and shut their brass mouths in unison, synced tin lips to bargains, admired the mayor's tinted megaphone, actually a bayonet, all in time to make Norman for lunch. Going mental, I do do coffee, I do do cafe. Smash the daily heart that fastens up the petals, I do a someone, bear, a bunny, do do a lovable urchin, do get paid and a slurping cement, but the someone in me comes and does do the perfume and the kneeling, does do the coming and the reckoning, does do the sitting and the thinking, does the elderly doing, crosses the latch for the elderly, stains in the permanent dress, yellow, obvious brown, eldership sailing down into averages, thumbs take hold. Just want you to know how we go and then come around to ideas of ourselves. A dog, a cat, and a fox pet you as the cage of chests lifts. And we say this of what we know, that no moribund ovum will wretch and sloth its radiant muck between our teeth, and no muck that does accumulate will be tolerated if sniffed out. We, soiled and opposed in the garden, will take yes more and less of a beating. It will remain couched, equally reposed. In the backs of our minds, its blood raced the circuit. It will not sink into disappearing. It, eggs, modulated offerings, investment funds, lies. 
it will not collapse into romantic ideas of itself as producing healing or an orgasm. It will inflate calmness, will inflate the degrees to which questionings are satisfactory. It will sit up, pushing its lungs out, and talk about inconsequential things. No, it will always repose in reasons for gratitude, painful word, which steeps our modalities in fire, the body parts jointed, blood coursing through customary words. Be thankful that if in the armchair, it will not be the time to invite death to breakfast. Eyes pat their balls, flaps of cool thought, bones curve accommodatingly upwards, and no one is there, and it doesn't matter. Help me turn over my leaves. In your hand, closely exhibits wealth. No excuse to absent bravery, to link through guilty muck and accolade. How can I say this if I want you to know how thoroughly antinomian robots scaled the wall this afternoon around four? You can conceive in it that reluctance. But this is as far as I will go for now. Human dust. Lest it crack into something like impatient love. The promise to give away all solid balloons. Keep affections as poison enough to be antidote. Lose the robots with strangulations of silk that posset and liquefy their hard places that pet dry boxes and top kitchen counters. I want you to know me, to know me unknown. Splattered against the velvet wall where care shines forth where cities can be exited in a pale, ready march, dismissing the obvious affirmations of type, running down the air into lavender valleys of sky, over which the white moon makes light of the pink against the sending blue, as real as the inability to diversify the European energy market. And our bones will not glow or be even remotely fantastic. Our superheroic qualities will remain intangible. Bone will simply be one of many felt layers of the skin tissue and muscle, the organ, and fighting will accord to the bravest breaths and the opportune moments and the striations sought for within the means of love, the means of puffed ribs, sit forward, move into presentment, presentiment, be daring with your chest, thumping beneath it, no tepid reaction to blowing but nodding, to being up on the scale, not a withering, congratulated brat needing the lozenge, but what will always elude the critic, who, mistaking sex appeal for nobility, will always misdirect his jump rope to see it flap him in the face. <laughs> and my question even here, this is for you. <laughs> to listen in, first take a jump so the cable remembers itself coupled at the neck to a watery tether. Meme drunk and seeing the apex of harm in it, it not being the fault of any habit or failure of perception to find oneself deceived by some entity, personal, corporate, or otherwise. Trust is always the same. It's only the wounds that inspire. The knives cutting hair and twine, pliers drawn as if jousting for craft, the witch like you do at your desk very well, breathing life into scattered them, others. Took them up against the wall to view the cracks, dipped down like a tango by the wood slats, breath to fit between. Like a curfew, finished at six in the mouth, downturned, lashes bashfully proud of their shame. Touchingly to me, who did press with letter opener fast to my chest and then brow, opener slipping a sheet, to the evening's accent caress, no tussle to take eyelids to, no clever opening desire, no clever verbs, no combat, just the ordinariness of the shaded class of small feelings, writ large and banana peel, arranged on a platter to spell, hey, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's called L'Amitié, uh, and it's to her close friend, Mrs. M. Aubrey. Soul of my soul, my joy, my crown, my friend, a name which all the rest doth comprehend. How happy are we now, whose souls are grown by an incomparable mixture, one, whose well-acquainted minds are not as near as love or vows or secrets can be dear. I have no thought of what's to be revealed, nor thou desire that is for me concealed. Thy heart locks up my secrets richly set, and my breast is thy private cabinet. Thou sheds no tear but what my moisture lent, and if I sigh, it is thy breath is sweet. United thus, what horror can appear worthy our sorrow, anger, or our fear? Let the dull world alone to talk and fight, and with their vast ambitions nature fright. 
Let them despise so innocent a flame, while envy, pride, and faction play their game. But we, by love sublime, so high shall rise to pity kings and conquerors despise, since we that sacred union have engrossed, which they and all the solemn world have lost. Protection, the Cat Witness Protection, the Witness Cats Protection Society Program. Now it's over. Now what's over? Now what's up? Supple, Apple has a laugh, choking on air at the of the This machine jumps, choking on air at the side of the road, choke hold, to come up, course, hold me close, disagree, not to pay for the apartment, I love you, sprouting beams from between my legs, the rubber ball bouncing to bounce and to pounce upon things that happen out of time. The present is out of time. Study hard in matte black and in gray, the stained glass lunch, my salad of speech, shunting over to the dead side, broadside, fireside, simpering, confounding a brooch into silence. Protests. You're out of touch, lunch face, lunch face waiting for lunch, capacious metaphors, precarious. Give me my dictionary, enough of the rigid laughter that poses among the soldered chips, exhaustion of shoulders, secret of chronic pain of wanting to be away or beneath in a pillow tapping lowness, fixity of lowness and surety of lowness, a dark wet damp permanent fox face and escape. We don't do that here, miss. We don't like to see you fuck the chair to get a baby desk. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally, where you found your face. 
How much do you want it? Take me to the shop. Now I get on the train. Now I wait for you for dinner again. The stage manager glistens at the forefront, recalling KY. You can say anything. Your bid can say anything, and your emails can say anything. But you yourself sit in the back of the kitchen. Now banish wishes for language. They take up space and time. I will never be where you think you find me. And if I were to find myself a skin growing hard over a wound of no origin, you would be the last to know. <laughs> Everyone wants to use an author as a mirror, but the hottest temperatures generate in complicity. You did not really want to bid, only witness it going down, this little lie, the memory of perverse pleasure buried in an embrace that takes breath away. Eventually, it will bust out, like pressurized cream among fingers. The bidder has not nearly enough to throw away, and the text that will never be framed rests living in the soul of whoever cannot let it go. Uh, last one. Gaudete. What are feelings? What would they feel if I knew them? I'm not sure of them. What are they? Feelings, are you there? What are you? The sky is a watermelon wash, a watercolor web, a shell of watermelon ebbing when I don't know how to go on. The web webbing and the sky skying, the sky webbing and the watermelon sky, injected with a needle hanging above and to the left of the road. What's it doing out there? Is it going to help pierce me from afar? Thank you.